It's Friday. I hope you all are ready for a great weekend. We're going to get our lesson done quickly today. Take your spelling test and you'll be done. Have a great weekend. Here we go. And everyone should be saying it. We do have some brothers and sisters at the house. Get them to work with you too. Un, un, un. Ing, ing, ing. L, L, L. Ack, ack. Ub, 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 ash, 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 amp, 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 two vowels, eat, 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 id, 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 ed, 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 eight, eight, eight. All right, those are the ones we're working on. Now, we're going to work on two different rhymes to write today, and I am going to try to trick you up a little bit because I'm going to change the rule that we're using. So are you ready for a challenge? I hope you are. It may be Friday, but you still have to be awake and alert. The first word I'm going to give you today is going to be wedding. Wedding. Think to yourself, what's my base word? Write your base word. And then make it wedding. All right, let's check. The base word was wed. Okay, so we have wed. I have a short vowel followed by one consonant. What do I need to do? I hope you remembered. Double the consonant and add I-N-G. Wedding. I'm reviewing that that we worked on before spring break. Base word was red. Wed, excuse me. Your suffix is I-N-G. Short vowel followed by one consonant. Double the consonant and add your suffix. All right, the next word I want you to do is kites. Kites. A windy day would be a good time to fly the kites. Think what your base word is. Tap only the base word and write your base word and then add your suffix, kites. I know it's going to have an E on it. So I've got the base word kite. I want more than one kites. There is no suffix, or excuse me, there is no vowel before the S. So do I need to drop the E? No, I don't. Just add your S suffix, kites. Circle your suffix, long I, silent E. Kites. Kites. I told you I was going to trade, change it up a little bit today. All right. You ready for the next one? The next one is going to be, let's see. Oh, let's do this one. Let's do the word shredding. Shredding. When we are shredding the paper. Be careful of that beginning. Think about what your base word would be. Shred. Tap that base word. Sh -er Ed, shred, and then make shredding. Okay, did you mark it? Let's do it. Sh er, ed. There's my ed rhyme. Shred. I want to make it shredding. Let's see. A short vowel and I have it followed by one consonant. What did you need to remember? Double the consonant and add your ending I N G. Shredding. The base word was shred. Suffix I N G. S H was a diagraph. Put one line under the R. We call that a diagraph blend because you've got the R in there with it. Shredding. Cutting something into little bitty pieces. All right, hmm, oh, here we'll go. Let's do the word writing. We are writing our words, and I will tell you there is a silent letter at the beginning of that. So it does not really start with the er. Do you know what that silent letter is? I hope you said W. 
bright. Bright is your base word. Long I, silent E. I want to make it writing. You need to drop the E and add your I N G. So look at all the ways we did it. On one word, we didn't change it at all. Two of them, we had to double the consonant at the end, and then one, we had to drop the ending. That's the reason we keep practicing these, so that we can learn how to add our endings to words. All right, are you ready for a little bit of chunking today? Let's look for your rhymes. All right, I hope you said eat, eat, eat. SW would say sw sweet, and then you have SSS, ness. Put it all together, and we have sweetness. Sweetness. Oh my, here's another one of those big ones. Let's see, I see one, two, three rhymes in this one. See if you can find all three of them. Write them down so you can check it. All right, the first one was. M, 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 Ank, Ank, Ank. So we've got M, Bank, M, Bank, and then N, 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 Mint, M, Bank, Mint. See how the words are getting longer? But if we can chunk them and look at them, and then if we also listen to the syllables, M, Bank, Mint, three syllables. If you break it into the smaller parts, we can sound out all these big words. And then here's our last one. I see one, two, three. Okay, O M, calm. I am M, plit, complit, m, complim, n, mint. Compliment. Compliment. You are doing such a good job. That is a compliment. Okay. Do you remember what we talked about earlier this week about C in a word? If it's followed by C E, C I, C Y, it does not make the K sound. It makes the S sound. With the silent E, it does the same. The first vowel speaks, he says his name. The vowel says I and the word is ice. The vowel says I and the word is ice. Two vowels lock together and they play a game. The first vowel speaks, he says his name. The vowel says E and the word is meat. The vowel says E and the word is meat. Up oh, there's C-E, so it's gonna make a S sound. With the silent E, it does the same. The first vowel speaks, he says his name. The vowel says I and the word is price. The vowel says I and the word is price. With the silent E, it does the same. The first vowel speaks, he says his name. All right, we're gonna do our sentence and then we'll be through for today. And I'm going to ask you to get big brother, big sister, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, someone at home to give you your spelling test. Your sentence today is, dad will drive the kids to class. Repeat it and plan it out on your paper. Dad will drive the kids to class. Keep saying it to yourself and go back over it because it needs to be word for word what I say. Dad will drive the kids to class. Dad will, dad will drive the kids to class. Dad will drive, dad will drive the kids to class. All right, pause for a minute, write your sentence, and then we'll check it. Here's our 
our sentence for today. And I've misplaced my magnets, but we can still check it. Dad will drive the kids to class. I started with a capital D, beginning of the sentence. I ended with a period. Uh, how about bonus letters? Do you see any bonus letters in this sentence? Remember, in foundations, when you do it in your classroom and you see a bonus letter, you star. So we know that L is a bonus letter and S is a bonus letter. Buy one, get one free. What's the other bonus letter? F. We don't have that. So dad will drive the kids to class. Uh, how about consonant blends? Do we see any consonant blends? Dad will, okay, D-R, D-R, because we hear both sounds. The kids to class. C-L, because you hear both sounds. Now, would D-S be one? It wouldn't be one because the S is a suffix. So you just look at it and it would just be the consonant D. All right, so we're looking for diagraphs. TH, I think, is the only one I see. And then long vowel words. Dad will drive, long I, silent E, the kids to class. Is that the only one today? Dad will drive the kids to class. Let's look at kids. Base word, kid, suffix S. All right, I think that gets all of those for today. Remember, see if you can find someone at home give you your spelling test, bite, biting, time, timing, slide, sliding, tape, taped, slimed, and slimed. Send me a copy of how you do, and I'm still looking and seeing people give me copies of their um, magazine words. Have a great weekend.